Nina's words about the very low level impact of the business as usual in France despite the high ambitions. Uh, so I'm happy to have you give your reaction. Uh, for the audience, you are the Associate Director of Greenflex and Project Manager of Energie Squang France. And prior to that, you were working as a Senior Manager at B Citizen and a Technical Analyst at ADEM, the French Energy Agency. You hold a Master's Degree in Environmental Engineering and Management from the Danish Technical University and an Engineering Degree from the École Centrale of Lille. Sebastian, over to you for three to four minutes of reaction. Thank you. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as mentioned, yeah, I'm trying to foster these efforts of promoting the Energy Spring movement through France, uh, a movement that was set in the Netherlands at first to promote this uh, zero energy retrofit uh, through uh, an innovative way, which is having a market development, trying to foster the market, working both with the offer and demand. So that's the work that we're, we are duplicating, uh, and another team is doing the same job in the UK uh, for support of uh, H2020 funding, Transition Zero. And, uh, and for now, it's interesting that one year and a half, we try to do the job. And for sure, in the French market was not a market where we would have a lot of uh, zero energy retrofit, when I mean, there was none in existence. And uh, most retrofits were, uh, were, yeah, not ambitious enough compared to what we should, uh, the long-term target we have. So we're using for that uh, work uh, social housing as the uh, an accelerator uh, to promote these uh, zero energy retrofits and the work in process. So that was not an easy in, in easy way because as mentioned by Yamina, the value chain was just not ready for that. Uh, we need some efforts, but we see a lot of interest at the optimal issues of chicken and the egg. Who's gonna be ready first, the offer or the demand? And based on the experience of our colleague in Netherlands, we're trying to do the same efforts of aggregating, uh, aggregating a demand of a high ambitious target to renovation. So the, it's net zero energy retrofit we're asking with 20 to 30 years uh, warranty. And we have some uh, positive feedbacks to demonstrate our work set up in France these past months. So, I mean, contractor sign is gonna be off the ground in a few months. And next week will be announced that there's a volume deal of more than 3,000 uh, housing for which we have uh, eight different social housing organizations saying, okay, we want to commit to that and give this signal to the markets, industrial, constructors, if you provide us with zero energy uh, solution, definitely we're gonna buy it. Buy it pending, there's a business case for it. And that's another point where we have to work also to optimize things but we're confident that the model might work in a large part of the housing portfolio. I mean, it won't work uh, like tomorrow in all the portfolio of housing we have, but definitely that thing that could work. So for sure, friends, there's like ambition, political ambition are here. Uh, the difficulty is going from uh, the, the ambition to reality. I mean, like in many, uh, many countries, historically, there were a lot of um, money used to finance either demand or offer, but nothing in between. And this role that uh, was success of energy sprung in the Netherlands of a financing intermediation, guys in the middle that work to, 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 for everything to be smooth, thinking through the contract, working with authorities, financing institution, was not seen as something of value in France. So through EU funding, we can do this work, so that's great. But still, I mean, what I am so optimistic, and I see the will of the, both the offer, the demand, uh, and the authorities to move forward in that direction. But still, that's a big change in the value chain. Uh, we know that, uh, at least in France, value chain of construction is still not uh, very numeric enough. I mean, the uh, lean still have to be deployed. Uh, a lot of effort are needed. So that's work in process. And also, we'll work also with authorities to optimize the uh, business plan. We mentioned cost of finance, for sure. There's more global issue of split incentive for which definitely things are to be done. We're a country in France where energy price are compared to other EU countries quite low. So it does not improve the business case. And also a key issues we're gonna have to face is find the proper way to, 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 for the seed fundings for a prototype. What I mean in, in the Netherlands uh, with this program in Energy Sprung, that's after only a thousand buildings that they were able to diminish their construction cost by 50% to reach that target that was mentioned by Yamina. And the promise of go Energy Spring movement going European is to, to go even far in this cost reduction. 
And with this clear ambition to, to never go at another uh, ambition at zero energy, to make a small parallel with the agriculture market, the idea is we want to do the organic market. I mean, it's very ambitious, that's zero pesticides, same thing. We think that we're going to uplift the market through promoting um, something that might look as a niche at the beginning uh, and very ambitious in market of targets. Uh, and we've also this view of having desirable uh, products that people want, and that's clear the direction where we want to go and keep going forward. Okay, Sebastian, thank you for that insight into what's happening in France that builds on some of the work that uh, Yamina had presented earlier. And our final voice uh, giving a view from the cities, uh, one of the key local actors who can uh, maybe partake in the national investment platforms is Claire Roumet, Executive Director of Energy Cities. Uh, prior to 